Thank you, guys. Can you hear me? Okay. Can you hear me? Yes, yeah. teacher. I have problems also with the microphone and also with the video cam. So everything went down. So this is this is really a problem, right? But thank you very much for staying. Thank you. So uh, let's continue and let's try to do this right direct. Okay, right direct. If Si esto vuelve a suceder, eh, ahorita nos falta una hora. Con esto que perdimos, quizás serían como unos, ¿qué? ¿Cuánto? Diez minutos más o menos, ¿verdad? ¿Ok? ¿Están de acuerdo en finalizar a las diez y diez si es todo posible? ¿Ok? Thank you, guys. Thank you. No. I can't hear you, so... Let's continue and let's go directly okay. to the... Hay mucha interferencia, teacher. Hay un micrófono activo. I think now it's better for me. Yeah, because this went down. Yeah. Can you hear me now? So let's see. Let's share the screen again. And let's go to... Okay, here we are. So we were saying about the present continuous. The present continuous is formed by the pronoun or the subject and the verb to be and the ing verb form. So let's think about this other picture that you have here. This other picture. Let me move this. Okay, this picture, let's try to make some sentences. Okay, let's try to make some, some sentences. So the first that I, I can give you as an example will be, um, I am sending email. Okay, can you give me another example? I am opening emails. Oh, very good. I'm opening emails. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another one? I'm checking emails. Very good. I'm checking emails. There you are. So these is the way to structure the present continuous, okay? Now let's think about this other picture that you have here. This computer, what do you think when you see that computer? I am using computer. Very good. Or, um, or the computer. Okay, I'm using the computer. Good, uh-huh. What other? Can someone else uh, give me an example? Like Jonathan? Okay. Let's see, Karina. I working in computing. Very good. I am working on the computer. Okay. There you are. So let's see, what is this? What is this? This. It's a printer. It's a printer. So what is the verb? Uh, 
the verb is print, right? Or to print. Let's make a sentence with that verb, print. I printing a report. I'm printing out. Did you say that? I'm printing out. Did you say that? No, I no. printing a report. Oh, okay. But it was correct also if you say I'm printing out. So I, I say, wow, you're using a phrasal verb. Excellent, Karina. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> okay, I'm printing a report. Good. Mm -hmm. What else? Another, another sentence? Let's see. Yeah, I'm printing two documents. I am printing documents. Okay. Document. Very good. Very good. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the present continuous and is form is formed by the to be verb and the ing verb form. Okay, we have to, to be careful with the to be verb form. Okay, porque no vamos a decir I is, verdad? Vamos a decir I am. No voy a decir I is printing. No, voy a decir I'm printing a report. Okay, I'm printing documents. Okay. So this is, ese es uno de los usos. To say things that are happening in the same very moment that we are talking. But at this very moment, we are going to talk about the present continuous as future, okay? Esta misma forma la utilizamos para expresar eventos futuros, pero que ya están planeados. Ya es un hecho que van a, a suceder. So let's go to the manuals. Let's go to the manuals. Para que veamos la diferencia. Okay. Let's see the difference here. Let me erase this. To see the difference. So let's read this conversation. And it says. Uh, this is page 29, guys. Page 29. And it says, hello, Henry, I have a question. Who is re representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year too. So I see. But if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentations for the CEO next week? Guess what? I am. I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. Okay, now let's say this. Uh, do you have any question about the vocabulary in this conversation? Do you have no. any question? No, teacher. No questions? Me no. Okay. You can say, no, I don't have. Okay, no, I don't. Uh -huh. Yeah, because I say, do you have, right? So let's see. Um, Carla, are we okay? I think she's having problems too with the storm. Let's see. Astrid, is it okay everything in this conversation? Or do you have any question about the vocabulary? No question. Okay. Okay. Then everybody activate your audio or open your mics. And let's say this conversation together. And it says, hello, Henry, I have a question. Hello, Henry, hello, Henry. I, have a question. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Who is representing, Who is representing the, company the company in the yearly conference? conference? Hey, Peter, well, Maria is. Hey, hey Peter, hey, well, Maria, Maria is. is about you. Teacher, yo no, yo no veo la presentación. Don't you see it? Okay, let me try to share it, share it again, okay? I will share it in this front. Is it possible now? Do you see the presentation? 
Thank you. Yes, okay. teacher. Okay, it said here that I was sharing, but okay. Now let's continue, guys. Let's continue. And it says again, hey Peter. Well, Maria is. Hey Peter. Hey Peter. Well, Maria is. Hey, well, Maria is. But Yuli is attending the conference this year too. So. But Yuli is. But Yuli is conference this year too. So. I see, but if Yuli is attending. Who is delivering the presentations for the CEO I, next week? I see. I see. But if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentations for the CEO next week? For the next week. Next week. Guess what? Dumb. What? what? Guess what? I am. I am. I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Okay, sounds great. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. So I am informing the committee about it. Okay, good. Do you know this? Uh -huh. Repeat. El, la última parte, la última parte de Peter. It says, sounds great. Sounds great. Sounds great. So sounds I am great. informing the committee about it. Committee. 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 Uh -huh. so committee. I am informing the committee about, about it. Uh -huh. It's right. It's committee. Ah, committee, el comité, uh -huh. to the, to the um, executives, okay? Uh-huh. Okay. Like Thank the you. directors committee, yeah. like uh, people, uh, the managers committee, la junta, right? Okay. Thank you. Okay, there you are. So now I want to hear Alejandra and Wendy. Alejandra is Peter and Wendy is Henry. Hello, teachers. Hello. Yes, we can hear you. We can hear you very well. I have a question. Who is represent? Uh, represent. Don't worry. Just say it. Representing. Representing the company in the early conference. Okay. Well, Maria is who you like? Julie, Julie. Another is person, right? Julie. An an attending, attending. Attending the conference this year to so. Alejandra? I see, but is Julie is attending or is delivering the presentation for the sale next week? Okay. Guess what? I am, I am pressing. Presenting. Presenting white Hector. <laughs> Accountant. Accountant. Account accountant. Okay, sound right. So I am informing the committee about it. About it. Okay, very good. Very good. Uh, ahorita ustedes se sienten así cuando leen como, como un poco inseguras. A ver, les voy a dar un tip a todos, ¿ok? Este es tip para todos. 
Cuando aprendemos a leer en nuestro idioma español, vamos sílaba por sílaba, se fijan, ¿verdad? Y nos cuesta a veces comprender toda la idea. Entonces, como nosotros ya sabemos leer, no necesitamos eh, ir sílaba por sílaba porque tenemos la, la capacidad o la habilidad de leer. Ahora, busquemos el punto o el signo de puntuación más cercano para llegar hasta allí con el mismo aire, ¿ok? Para que no se nos corte la idea. Por ejemplo, aquí hay una puntuación, aquí hay otra puntuación, aquí otra puntuación, ¿ok? Aunque nos vayamos dando duro y quebrando las palabras, pero llegar a esa puntuación, a modo que demos la idea completa. No nos detengamos en una sola palabra, a menos que definitivamente no podamos pasar de ahí. Pero si podemos pasarla porque entendemos lo que dice, ¿ok? Digámosla como nosotros si metes el auto, pensamos te y luego nos corrigen, ¿ok? Para que aprendamos. Es como un tip, ¿ok? Entonces, leámoslo todos juntos hasta llegar a la, a, a la puntuación. Pongámosle todos la puntuación correcta, ¿ok? Everybody, please. Hello. Everybody. Hello. 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 Okay. Henry. Hello, Henry. Hello. Hello, Henry. I have a question. I have, I have a, a question. question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey Peter. Hey Peter. Well, Maria is. Well, Maria is. But Julie is attending the conference this year too. So, I see. I see. I see. I see. I see. I see. But if Julie is attending, but, but if Julie but is, Julie is, attending, is attending, attending, who is delivering who is the presentations for the CEO next week? Who is delivering the presentation for the CEO next week? Guess what? Guess, guess what? what? I am. I am. I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. I am, I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. Sounds great. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. So I am informing the committee about it. Okay, so what is this conversation about? This conversation is about activities that they are doing in the future. They are doing these activities in the future. And these two are talking about who, who is doing those activities in the future. This is this conversation about, okay? So let's think and let's see. For example, who is attending the conference? Hey guys, yeah, who is attending the conference? <laughs> who is attending the conference? Maria. Maria is, right? Maria is. But also Julie is attending the conference too. Okay, Julie is attending the conference too. So in this year, they say things are going to be different. En este año, las cosas son distintas según esa conversación, right? Why? Because Julie and Maria are attending the conference and Henry and Hector aren't attending to the conference because they have to, what, what do they have to do? What do Henry and Hector have to do? They have to present, okay? They have to present 
Mm -hmm. For the CEO, next week. Next week. Correct? Ok. Entonces, ¿cómo vamos a diferenciar cuando es que está diciendo las cosas que estamos haciendo en el mismo momento que estamos hablando y cuando son las cosas a futuro? ¿Cuándo son las cosas a futuro? ¿Tienes sí, alguna idea? Uh -huh. Si lleva ING, está hablando de futuro. Ok, ahí está el detalle. Vamos a ver. El presente continuo es un tiempo del verbo, ¿ok? Y está compuesto por el verbo to be y la forma del verbo ing. Eso no cambia. Lo que cambiaría sería el uso, ¿ok? Tenemos el primer uso que decíamos es para eventos futuros, ¿verdad? Y el otro uso es para las cosas que estamos haciendo en este momento. Ahora, veamos acá, en la conversación. En esta conversación, ven ustedes esa frase, next week. Next week. Do you see? Next week, próxima semana. Exactly. So it's the future. Entonces, ¿cómo vamos a identificar que están hablando del futuro? With future time expressions. Future time expression. Ok. For example, if I say, I am teaching now, is it the future? No, right? It's the present. It's the present. So I'm going to draw a line here for you to see a line, uh, a timeline, okay? And let me, let me um, draw this line here, okay? Let's think that this is a timeline, okay? So, and this point, okay, and this point is now, okay, now, or today, now, do you see, now, to say the things that are happening now, we use the ing verb form with the to be verb, pero también para las cosas en el futuro, Okay, but also for things in the near future, in el futuro cercano, ¿verdad? No es en el futuro lejano, okay? Es en el futuro cercano. I'm going to draw a little line here, okay? Let me draw this little line, okay? So let's think about here. It's going to be future, okay? Future. Y las cosas que ya hicimos ayer serían acá, ¿verdad? A este lado, pasado, past. Now, now, and the future. Now, and the future. So now let's see. And let's go to see this activity down there, just to see if we understand this conversation or to help understanding this conversation. Let me erase this. O sea que para las dos formas, para decir las cosas que están pasando en este momento y las cosas que van a suceder o voy a hacerlas en un futuro cercano y ya las tengo planeadas y definidas, entonces sí vamos a decir así, ¿verdad? Utilizando el to be y el ing. So now let's go and see. Complete the following sentences and let's use the conversation above to help you. Number one, number one. Number one. He is presenting. Very good. He is presenting, okay? Presenting. Mm -hmm. 
with the new employee, with the new employee. Okay, number two. I am informing the committee about that. Okay, so it's the verb to be that is missing there, right? So I am informing the committee about that. I am informing the committee about that. Okay. What do we notice here? ING. Cuando ustedes vean que el verbo lleva ING, busquemos si lleva el to be. Ah, entonces estamos hablando del presente continuo o del presente progresivo. Okay. Present continuous or present progressive. If you want to look it up in a book or you want to Google it, you have to write on the search present continuous or present progressive. Okay. But at this moment, let's see in the next page. In the next page, we have the grammar for this structure. Okay. Let's read it, let's read it. Raquel, can you please read the first here? We use present continuous to talk about arrangements. Arrangements. Arrangements for even at a time there than now. Excellent, thank you very much. So we use present continuous to talk about arrangements for events at a time later than now, okay? Not only for now, but for a time later than now. Now let's see the structure. Let's see the structure. Can you read the structure, please? Uh, let's see, Kevin. Um, subject plus plus verb verb e uh -huh. plus may verb zero plus complement. Okay. Let's see everybody. Subject plus uh -huh. verb e. Plus main verb. Main, main verb. My verb. Plus verb. complement. Plus complement. Okay, this sign that you see here, it's called plus, plus, plus. 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 Now let's see the example. Let's see the first example. It says, uh, Juan Carlos, please read the first example. I am meeting the inter tomorrow. Thank you. When is taking place this activity? When is taking place this activity? It says tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, okay? So tomorrow is the future. Tomorrow is the future. What do we use? The present continuous. And we say, I am meeting the interns tomorrow. Okay? Me reuniré, right? O me reúno, me reuniría, me, me voy a reunir, okay? I'm meeting the interns tomorrow, okay? Now, this action is going to take place in the future. When is the future here? Tomorrow, tomorrow. Now, let's see this other example. It's a conversation because we have a question and we have an answer, okay? So let's read the question. What time is Maria interviewing the people? 
Ah, she's interviewing them at 5 o'clock p.m. Let's see. What time is Maria interviewing the people? She what is. Uh-huh. What time is Maria interviewing the people? What time is Maria interviewing the people? Maria interviewing the people. Okay, then what is the answer? She, she, she is, is interviewing, she is interviewing at, at, at at five o'clock p.m. Right? At five o'clock p.m. Five o'clock. Let's see the other example. Excellent. Now let's see the, the next example. Uh huh. I am writing the report next next week. Thank you. Now, what is uh, the answer or the continuation of that conversation? Um, I, I am you finish. Okay, nice. And I'm sending it as soon as you finish. So that's the future, right? As soon as something else happens. If you finish, that will be a future. So I'm writing the report next week. Nice. And I'm sending it as soon as you finish. Now let's go and see. Let's go and see something here. Because to, to express the future, Okay, we need to learn some future expressions. Future expressions. Let's read. Let's read. Tomorrow. 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 Let's escucha, teacher. Okay, there you are. <laughs> okay, at least it was a good song, right? <laughs> Let's see then, the it's future a, expressions, excuse me? Attempt, uh, uh, list, uh, la lista. Yeah, oh. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, the attendance. Thank you. Uh, oh, 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 I'm going to leave this thing here. Yes, because we need to do that. Very important for us. Okay, Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodriguez. <clears throat> Alejandra, are you there? Creo que se le fue la luz, mandó un mensaje. Oh my God, okay. Alexis Antonio Sandoval Morales. Ana Cristina Chavarría Flores. Present teacher. Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Present teacher. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Present teacher. Vladimir Antonio Santos Valdivieso. Present teacher. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Okay. Uh, Giovanni Alexander Ramirez Sanchez. Present teacher. Jonathan Ernesto Fuentes Marín. Present. Jose Atilio Mangandi Alvarado. Okay. Uh, Juan Carlos Palacios Ramirez. Present. Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Present. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. Luis Roberto Mejía Menéndez. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Nancy Ibeto Rivera. Present. Omar Alfredo Mozo Flores. Present, teacher. Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Present. Wendy Xiomara 
Núñez. Present. Present. Aurielena Segovia Rugama. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present. Félix Moisés Blanco Araniva. Javier Adolfo Mendoza Tobar. Okay, now let's complete the other activity. And uh, let's do first the one we have in our manuals. Okay, let me share the screen. Chicos, es que estoy con, con la duda o el problema. Los voy a mandar al breakout room. Okay, we're gonna split into the into these rooms. Esperemos que no haya ninguna situación, ¿verdad? De que nos desconectemos o algo. Así que eh, para que ustedes hagan la siguiente actividad. La, the next activity in your manuals. Let's go to your manuals. Para que la hagan rapidito. We'll be... Don't scramble the following, teacher. Yes. Okay. Let me go there. This is, okay. Let me move this thing here. And it says unscramble. Unscramble the following words to create sentences. To create sentences. Entonces ustedes vienen y lo ponen en orden. Unscramble, okay? Unscramble. Let's remember, let's remember that we are using verb to be, I and G, and they are together, okay? Let's remember the subject first, then the to be, then the ing verb form and then the complement. So now we are going to go to the rooms. Let me split the room into the rooms. Solo vamos a tomar unos pocos minutos, okay? There you are. Nancy, did you receive the invitation? Okay. Sorry. <laughs> okay, no problem. Go ahead. And the uh... El gerundio sería más o menos como, quiero ver. Ah, no, el main verb sería the como, the como the letters. O también, se, también podría ser the next week. Mm, pero según el orden, el, como la fecha era de último. Como el tiempo. Sí, eso, eso se puede decir, tiene razón. Sí, dice como... Next week. Mark está enviando, dice, las letras la siguiente semana, ¿verdad? Uh, let's try not to translate, guys. <laughs> let's try uh -huh. to use your vocabulary. So let's say it in English. Mark is the okay. subject, right? So Mark is? Sending. Sending, Sending what? The Sending letters the next week. The next week. Uh -huh. That is the correct form, teacher. Or yes, of course. The Remember? Week, the letter. No, because the time expressions are uh, always or usually goes at the end. Okay. Okay. So it is okay the next week. We could use the next week at the beginning or at the end of the sentence. Thank you. Okay. Okay, the number three is Jenny. Jenny is, Jane is, is working. Tony. Yeah. It's okay, working. Tony is working. No, tonight is es, es como la noche. 
Is the time expression, know? right? Is the yeah. time expression. Time expression. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Work. It's working work. tonight on the re no tonight on the report. It's working tonight on at the, the report end. tonight. Tonight at the end Tuesday. because time expression. Let's try. Time expressions at the end of the sentence. Let's try like that. Okay. Okay, and this is on the report tonight. Yes. I'm going to leave the room, guys. You are working uh, well, so. Thank you. Okay, see Thank you, you very much. Uh, uh, teacher, yes, tell me. Uh, en, en la número, en la número dos. Uh -huh. Como empieza con En el caso este empezaría the next week, ¿verdad? Porque está en mayúscula la, la T. O sea, y está en el next. futuro. O no sé, este, empezaría así, the next week, March, <laughs> eh, is sending the, the letter. Yes, of course. Uh, the situation here is that time expression could be at the beginning of the sentence or it could be at the end of the sentence. So it is okay at the beginning. Don't worry, it's okay. Okay, okay. Okay. Entonces sería the next week. John, John working. Oh, John is John, Jen, Jen, Jen. Wendy is in number two. Wendy is in number two, Edwin. Number two. Yeah. Uh -huh. Wendy. No, number three. Okay, but Wendy is asking uh, what's the, the correct sentence? For the number two. Mark the is the letter. No, no, no. Remember, remember in the in the box that you have up uh, uh, below. I'm sorry, above. <laughs> And this box, arriba, ustedes tienen una, José. un cuadrito, ¿verdad? Ah, ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces, ahí tienen la estructura. Sigan la, la estructura que tienen ahí. Follow the structure because it says subject plus verb to be plus the main verb or the gerund plus pues the complement. So, let's Entonces, see number two. Uh, ah, number two. Uh -huh. Es, Mar is searing the letter the next week. It could be like that, and it is okay too. Okay, Mark is the subject, is sending the letters, sending and the letters, the letters the complement. Mm. You could say also the next week. Okay. Entonces, como hay un punto después del punto, es que van este the next week. Oh no. Ma que es? Mar Mar is, she is sharing the letter the next Mar week sending sending the letter uh -huh. letter is O is the letter. Vale, no, veamos, veamos el cuadrito de arriba en el manual. Veamos cuál es la estructura que tenemos que seguir. Subject, subject uh, is mark. Ajá. But the verb to be? Is. Sitting. Is. Ajá. Oh. What is the main verb? What is the main, the main verb? Ah, sitting. Sending. 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 Ajá. Sending. Sending. Okay. So, mark. Is sending. sending. Y el complemento, or the complement. The letter. The letter. The next week. Excellent. 
There you are. Okay. Entonces, okay. es Jan, yes. la num number three es Jan. Number three, ajá. Uh -huh. Jan is working Tony on the report. Oh, what is Tony thing is in Tonight. English, in Spanish? Tonight, James tonight. working tonight. Yeah, tonight. Okay. 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 James is working on the report. the report tonight. Excellent. No. There you are. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, on the report tonight. Mm -hmm. mm. James is working. Working. Okay. Um, uh, Walter is sitting, singing, sing, sing, what is singing? Singing, mm -hmm. la, 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 la. Sing, the <laughs> sing, that's the yes. song. Yes, yes. Uh, singing, um, Walter is singing. Oh, oh, no, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You singing. say singing, ¿verdad? Pero singing. el verbo que está ahí no es singing, es signing. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. You, you ask me singing, so, but signing. 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 Uh, signing. Uh, write. Write your signature. Signing. Write your ah, signature. Check. Yes. Ah, and this is Walter is signing uh, the checks today. Excellent. There you are. Yeah. You got it. Signing. Number four, five. Marina. Okay, guys, you're working well, so I'm going to another room, okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, let's meet us later. Marina. Uh -huh. Ya finished. Terminamos. Okay, very good. Very good. So, uh, you can practice saying the sentence. Ah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to another room then, okay? Okay, teacher. Hello, Hello. Did, you did you finish? Yes. Okay, practice saying the sentences. Okay. Practice saying the sentences. Okay? okay? There you are. I'm going to another room, okay? Let's okay. meet us later. Bye. Bye. Walter. Hello, teacher. Hi. Hi. Is it everything okay? How is it going? Um, teacher, pronunciation uh, uh, number four. Uh, okay. Is, is Walter is signing. Is correct or no? Mm, signing, signing. Signing. Uh -huh. ah. signing. Signing. Yeah, he's not singing. He's signing. Mm -hmm. Signing. Yes. Signing the checks. The, the checks today. Yeah, exactly. Sería que Walter firma los cheques hoy. Exactly. Teacher uh, number five is organizing. And number five. Let me let me see. Let me see because uh -huh. organizing. Yes. What's the subject? Marina, right? 
Marina is organizing Correct. the presentation in the afternoon. Very good. There you are, you got it. Good. Y a ah, teacher, el number two, aquí se repite dos veces, de idea, porque Mark is sending mm -hmm. the, the letter the next week. O sea, se oh, repite, yes. Yes, se no repite. problem. Ah, okay. The, uh-huh. The, the next week. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. <laughs> okay, so you finished. Yes. Okay, then. Uh, let's go back to the main room, okay? Let's see here. I'm okay. To... Tomorrow. And let's... We stopped. And let's go. Okay. <laughs> main room. Yes, classmates. Yes, we are in the main room. So let's continue, guys, doing these Hello. exercises. No, no, no cambiaron, entonces. Ah, okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay, let's continue then and let's say the sentences. Number one, Omar Alfredo, number one. Number one. Mm hmm. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, okay. It's replacing the new workers tomorrow. Okay. Yes, yes, it was the example. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Let's see number two. Giovanni. Post. Post. Mark is sending the letters the next week. Excellent. Number three, Vladimir. Hey, it's the number three. Mm -hmm. uh, James turning is uh, working in the report. Again? Jane? James, uh-huh. Uh -huh. Tony is working. Uh, working. Is working. Is Tony is on the report. Okay, it says tonight. Tonight. Can you hear me okay? Tonight. Tonight. Jane is working tonight on the reports. Okay. It could be like that, Ana del Carmen, but it's better if we uh, let the time expressions go to the end, okay? To the end of the sentence. In this case, tonight is a time expression. Tonight is a time expression. Then? Correct is James is tonight. James is tonight working on the report. Uh, no. Well, oh, Jane is working tonight on the reports. Jane is working on the reports, or I'm sorry, on the reports tonight. <laughs> Jane is working on the reports tonight. Uh, finished. Uh, okay. Thank At you. At the end. Yes, correct. Uh, so, teacher. Teacher. Uh -huh. Uh, could you please repeat uh, the number two? Number two. Let's see number two. Who wants to repeat it, guys? Jane is working on the report tonight. Correct. Jane is working on the report tonight. Good. Yes. Is it okay, Omar? No. This is, this is number eight. Uh, but number two is uh, Mark. Mark is sending the letters the next week. No, can uh, if you want, you can the say okay. the next week at the beginning. 
the next week, Mark is sending the letters and it will be okay. Okay, I, I write uh, the next week, uh, Mark is sending the letters. It's correct. Okay, it is correct. It is correct. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay. Now, number four, guys, number four. Walter is signing the checks today. Okay. What do you think? Is it okay? Yes. Okay, yes, very good, very good. And I think it is number five, number five. Marina is organizing the presentation in the afternoon. Very good, very good. Marina is the subject. Then is the to be verb organizing the main verb and the presentation in the afternoon will be the complement. So number six, number six, let's, let's see number six, Juan Carlos. Guillermo is going to the bank tomorrow. Excellent, excellent. Okay. So now let's see the time expressions we can use for the future. Can you tell me some expressions for the future? Organizing. No, it's time expressions. Ah, uh -huh. Okay. Future um, time expressions. Tonight, or tonight, uh -huh. to, today, uh, to afternoon. Yeah, next week. Excellent. Uh huh. Okay. Next week. Today. Uh -huh. Next week. Okay. If we say today, let's remember that it is later today, right? Later today. So let's see these expressions that I have here. Uh, they are tomorrow. What day do you think it is this one? The day after tomorrow. The day after tomorrow. The day after tomorrow. Uh -huh. In Spanish, we say pasado mañana, right? Mm -hmm. So the day after tomorrow. Next week. And if we use next, we can add that word to any other word. For example, next month, next Monday. If we say next Friday, next Tuesday, next Wednesday, next Saturday, next uh, Sunday, okay? Then we have next weekend, next weekend. This is another time expression for future and it's a near future, in an hour, right? In an hour. Let's think about later this evening. Later this evening. Soon, soon, okay? Soon is another uh, word to use as a future expression. So now let's, let's see these other Estas ya son un poquito más complejas porque tienen más palabras, pero eh, la estructura es exactamente la misma. The structure is exactly the same. So now let's complete the sentences and use the information below. This information. Teacher, okay. the question. Tell me. Next uh, week, pro próxima semana. Next weekend. Next weekend. Next weekend is. Next Saturday and Sunday. Saturday and Sunday are the weekend. Fin de semana. Fin de semana. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Yes, we don't want to translate, guys. Let's try to define <laughs> this in English. Hey, help me, guys. Help me out. I'm sorry. Okay, so let's see. Complete the sentences and let's use the information that we have below this uh, exercise. So let's see. For example, number one, let's read number one. Who wants to read number one? I study English class tomorrow at 8 p.m. Very good, very good. But let's, let's use these verbs. 
I am having. I am having. Okay. Let's see. There you are. So number two. He's sending. sending. Okay, can you read the complete sentence? Sending the manager's assistant. The manager's assistant is sending an invitation in mail next Monday. Very good. So let's see, number three. Your boss, your boss is, is attending. Is attending. attending is a meeting an hour. In an hour, right? In an hour. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Number four. Are celebrating. All the employees are celebrating next Monday. Are you sure? Or um, all employees are resting the next Monday? Are resting next Monday. Uh huh. Are resting. Are having a rest, right? So are resting. Next Monday will be off. Okay, so they are resting. Number five. Is occurring. occurring. Can you read the complete sentence? The, the company, company is occurring. Okay, very good. Now let's see number six. The HR department is hiring new personnel next week. Okay, let's see. The HR department uh -huh, is hiring, is hiring new personnel next week. New personnel next week. Okay, number seven. We are celebrating. Celebrating employees' birthday later this evening. Later this evening. Very good. So now let's see. Uh huh. Wendy, read number one, please. I am. Having English class tomorrow at 8 p.m. Very good. Number two, Omar. Uh, okay. Uh, the manager's assistant uh, is sending uh, an invitation email next Monday. Thank you. So let's see Kevin number three. Uh, your, bo your boss uh -huh. is the at uh, attending a meeting in or. Okay, let's say it again, Kevin. Your boss. Your boss is attending a meeting in an hour. Is attending a meeting of power. Excellent. So now let's see number four, please, Carla Veronica. All employees are resting next Monday. Thank you. Number five, Vladimir. Okay. The company is offering a special discount next weekend. Okay, number six, let's read it, Ana del Carmen. 
the uh human resources <laughs> are you see my point <laughs> hr you you can say just hr or human resources department the the uh, department human is, no, okay okay uh, human it human me. resource human yes. resource the, the the human resource department is hiring new personnel next week okay so it will be is hiring is hiring is hiring new personnel new, new personnel uh -huh. new in esta palabra next. the strong voice is in now okay aquí aquí es la mayor fuerza de voz si decimos personal Ah, entonces estamos hablando de algo inherente a la persona, ¿verdad? Pero personnel is the people who works in a, in a company, right? Okay. okay, number seven. Number seven. Astrid, please. We are celebrating employees' birthday later this evening okay very good so now if you see we have studied the present continuous for future events for future events okay so now just let's take two minutes because it's almost 10 and okay it is 10 10 it is 10 and 10 so let's see I said to take two minutes to write an email, but I think it's not going to be possible, right? Let me see. ¿Vieron el video que les envié? No. <laughs> no lo vieron, okay. Um, no, teacher, I didn't have a time. Yeah, I understand, yes. Um, let's see, it says 55, 57 in here, oh, one second. And at this moment, see. Okay. In the video that I sent, in the video that I sent, you are going to learn some expressions about how to write a formal email because a formal email is different than an informal email. Okay, so if, for example, if I write an email to you, I think it will be like more friendly, okay, um, more friendly language. I will say, hey guys, uh, let's meet us tomorrow in the video conference as we talk in the WhatsApp chat, right? So, but if we need, for example, in our companies, we need to present our schedule, for example, or, or we are informing of something that people have to do in the company or in the workplace, then you are going to use a very formal language. That is the video about, okay? That is the video about. So let's try to watch the video uh, tomorrow or during your free time tonight and tomorrow, okay, before the class. And tomorrow in the class, we are going to write the email, okay? Así okay. vamos a hacer ustedes en su tiempo libre. Miran el video, le cachan ahí eh, las partes importantes de cómo escribir un email profesional, ¿ok? O formal. And then tomorrow we are going to practice how to write that email, ¿ok? Así que también piensen en sus actividades que ya están estipuladas y programadas en su trabajo, ¿ok? Así que para que piensen un poquito durante su tiempo libre. ¿Correcto? Any question? Yes, teacher. Question? No. No, no question. Okay. No then I'm going to take the attendance again. Okay. Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodriguez. Alexis Sandoval Morales. Ana Cristina Chavarria Flores. Ana del Carmen Mejía. Okay. Thank you, Ana Cristina. Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Present. 
Okay, Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Present. Vladimir Antonio Santos Valdivieso. Present. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Present. Jonathan Ernesto Fuentes Marín. Present. José Atilio Mangán de Alvarado. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Present. Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Present. Uh, Carla Verónica Suria López. Present. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. Luis Roberto Mejía Menéndez. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Nancy Beto Barrivera. Present, teacher. Okay. No me mencionó, teacher. Ah, uh, Wendy. No. Yes. Yes. Wendy, Wendy, where are you? Oh, thank you. Uh, it is. Okay, pero voy con todavía Nancy y Beth, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay. Uh, Omar Alfredo Mozo Flores. Present, teacher. Okay. Uh, Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Present. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present. Okay. Eh, Auri Elena Segovia Rugamas. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present. Félix Moisés Blanco Araniva. Javier Adolfo Mendoza Tobar. Okay, everybody. I think uh, we accomplished the objective for today. What do you think? Cumplimos el objetivo el día de hoy? Yes, teacher. Okay, we accomplished the objective, right? We learned about how to talk about future events in our workplace using the present continuous. Now we know what is the present continuous and now we know how to form it. Let's remember the present continuous, guys. Subject, to be verb. Main verb. Main verb. What else? And the complement. The complement, okay. Now let's say it again. Subject. Okay. Verb Everybody. Uh-huh. Member. Okay. And a complement. And the complement. Okay. So the to be verb. Let's remember that to be verb is conjugated the same as normal or as usual. El, el to be verb tiene que ser utilizado exactamente igual como cuando lo utilizamos solito, ¿verdad? Okay. Okay. So uh, today is the turn for Raquel, right? Raquel, Raquel, are you staying? Yes. Okay, there. Yes. Okay, then guys, I appreciate all your support today. And thank you very much for your collaboration. And also uh, let's meet us tomorrow and have a good night. Have a good night too, teacher. Okay, bye. 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 Good bye. night, teacher. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Bye. Good night, teacher. Bye. Good night. Bye bye. Hello, Raquel. How can I help you? I mean, do you have any questions? Hello, teacher. Hi. Not, no questions. No questions? Are you okay? Yes. Okay. And what about the homework? Uh, ¿Ha tenido algún problema con las tareas? No, no. No problems? Okay, very good. That's good, Raquel. So it means that we are for the for the good path. <laughs> okay, now, uh, do you want me to reinforce a topic? Quiere que um, reforcemos algún tema? The, the topic 
The time, date. The dates. Okay. Yes. Okay, let's see that. Let's see that. Okay, let me go there. And your manuals, and your manuals you have, I think it was page 28. I don't remember that bad. If my memory doesn't fail. No, it was, yes, 28. You see? Here we have all the explanation, right? About the dates. If you see here, uh -huh. Let me see. Uh -huh. Okay. It says use ordinal numbers, use ordinal numbers, and organize activities by date of event. This is uh, the main objective. Ok, al aprender las fechas en este tema, lo que estamos eh, procurando es que usted organice la actividad o identifique la, la actividad, la describa, pero al mismo tiempo diga la, la fecha en que va a suceder. Ok, mm -hmm. now let's see the dates. Let's see the dates. The dates are formed by the month, right? The month of the year and the dates. Let's remember that we have days, days. So let's see. Do you know the months of the year? Maneja usted los meses del año? Do you know them? Yes. Okay. Can you tell me the months of the year? January. January February. March. April. May. John, July, August, September, October, November, December. December. Do you know the days of the week? Sunday, Monday, Thursday, Tuesday. Tuesday. Uh -huh. Wednesday. Thursday. Like this. Thursday. Thursday. Uh -huh. Thursday. Friday. Mm -hmm. Saturday. And Saturday. Very good. So the dates or the numbers that we use are ordinal. Aunque usted los mire escritos así, sin el TH, sin el ST, sin, sin el RD, usted siempre los tiene que pronunciar como ordinales, ¿verdad? Like ordinals. Now let's go and see the ordinal numbers that I showed you in the class last week. Let me go back there. <coughs> Okay, here we are. Para poder decir la fecha es necesario que practiquemos los números ordinales, ¿verdad? Aprenderlos prácticamente de memoria. Okay, so number one in ordinal numbers is first. First. Okay, when you see a number one with an ST, next to it, then you have to pronounce that number first, first. Now let's see the next one. It says second, second, it's number two, right? Second, and we form it with the number two and D because second ends in ND, right? So we say second. Now let's say third, third, third. Uh -huh. 
hace so, el sonido así como una Z en español de España, like this. Y enrolla la lengua, ok, para third. decir third. Mm -hmm. Third. Correct. Okay. So now, the next number, the next number is number four in cardinal. But in the ordinal numbers is fourth. Fourth. You see? Fourth. 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 Mm -hmm. What will be Fourth. the next one? Fifth. Fifth. Okay. Fifth. Mm -hmm. Fifth. Like this. Fifth. Mm -hmm. Fifth. Fifth. Now let's see next one. Uh -huh. Six. Six. Uh -huh. Next one is seven. seven. Excellent. Now eight. Eighth. Eighth. Eight. Eight. Mm -hmm. Ninth. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Nine. Nine. What is next one? Ten. Excellent. Tenth. Tenth. Ten. Yes. Ten. Then we have 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th. Okay, let's say it from the beginning here. 11th, 11, 12th, 12th, 13th, 13th, 14th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 16th, 16th. 17th, 17th, 18th, 18th, 19th, 19th, 20th, 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 20th. Uh huh. So 20th and is 20th. 20th. Yes, 20th. 20th. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now let's see cuando a veces pronuncian bien formalmente este número, dicen 20th, 20th. Uh -huh. But 20th is okay, 20th, 20th. Now, what is the next number? 21st, 21st, 22nd. Okay, let me write this for you. It will be 21st, okay? Then it will be 22nd. Uh -huh. And next one is? 23rd. Excellent. And the next one? 24. Excellent. What's next? Next one? 25th. Okay. What goes next? 26. Uh -huh. What goes next? 27. And then? 28. Mm -hmm. 29. Excellent. Y llegamos a cual? And we get to the? 13th. 30th. 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 Si este es 20th, 20th, este es? 30th, okay, 30th, then we write the 30 and th at the end, so it will be 30th, 30th, 30th. 30th. now the month only have, I'm, I'm sorry, the month only has 30 or 31 days, mm -hmm. so we just see the 31st, okay, 31st in the dates. Okay. En las fechas nos vamos a quedar hasta el 31 porque pues en, no hay 32, ¿verdad? 32 de diciembre. <laughs> ok. Pero eh, la, la teoría es la misma, ok. Usted sigue poniendo los demás números a llegar al 40. Le quita la Y, le pone la I latina, la E, la TH y ya es 40th, ¿verdad? Okay. Y así, uh -huh. 
y así sigue contando de esa manera los números ordinales. Now, okay. let's go and say the year. Do you know how to say the year? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's say the year. Do you know how to say the year? ¿Usted ya sabe cómo decir el año? Uh, no, teacher. No sé si será uh -huh. 2021. Yes, it is like that. 2021. Yes. Uh -huh. 2021. So that's the long number. That's the complete number or long number using the thousand. Okay. But we can divide, we can divide the year into two ciphers. Okay, let me show you like this. We can divide and say 2021. You see? 2021. Podemos decirlo de las dos formas. We can say it in the two ways. We can say in the long number, or we can say it divided into two ciphers. Okay, then we say 2021 or 2021. Pero para que nos acostumbremos y podamos desarrollar un poco el speaking, it's better if we say the long number. Okay, the long number. So now let's say one date. Let's say a date. Let's go to the, okay, over here, over here. Let's write a date. So, yo le puedo preguntar, I can ask, what date is it today? Okay. What date is it today? Hay como, hay muchas formas de preguntar la fecha, ok? Mm -hmm. Pero esta es una buena pregunta, ok? What date is it today? Today is... Mm -hmm. um, what month are we? Okay, June. June. June uh, seven. Seven. Excellent. Uh huh. Two thousand and twenty-one. Very good. Two thousand and twenty-one. Very good. You see, this is the, the uh, formula, right, of the date. But now, if we say, for example. When's your birthday? Ah, esta ya es una frase como um, expression. O sea, siempre que se pregunte, when's your birthday? Usted debe responder, it's, dice el mes de su cumpleaños y la fecha de su cumpleaños, el número del día, right? For example, mm. when's your birthday, Raquel? It's August mm -hmm. 26. Excellent. You see? Ahí estamos. Now, le voy a hacer una pregunta que está en el manual y que es bien uh, important. Porque dice acá, uh, we need to express the agenda activities, right? Or your, your scheduled activities. So we need to know, for example, in the example that we have here in the conversation, Susan is talking about a meeting, right? So she says, when is Susan's meeting? When is Susan's meeting? Let's write it down here. When is Susan's uh -huh. Ahora veamos la fecha en que es esa reunión. What date is it? Let's see. What is her answer? What is her answer? Mm -hmm. When is the meeting with the consultant? When is the meeting with a consultant? Ah, let's see. When is it? Monday. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. November. Twenty-two. Twenty. Twenty-two. Uh, let's remember. 
Tiene una N y una D ahí. Ok, es... <laughs> okay, no problem. Let's go and see. Let's go and see. Okay, let's go and see here. Here. Okay, so look. I'm sorry. Thank you. Ten, 20. 20 seconds. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, now let's go to the manual. Let's go to the manual and let's read. 20? 20 seconds. Okay, then it is November the 22nd. Okay. So let's see here. Pero veamos algo bien importante. La preposición. Mire, aquí on. en la respuesta de ella dice on. 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 Eso es importante cuando nosotros contestamos, mire, on Monday, November the 22nd. Aquí, cuando lo pronunciamos, usted podría decir the, ¿ok? Podría okay. decir the 22nd. Hmm. ¿Qué es lo más normal que usted va a escuchar? Se lo digo porque cuando usted escuche a alguien diciendo, se le va a confundir y va a decir, pero es que ahí está diciendo algo más y no lo han dicho. Es esto lo que se dice. The 22nd. Okay. 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 So, when is Susan's meeting? On Monday, November the 22nd. Okay. Now, let's think. Let's think in a different activity. For example, let's make this up like... Um, Mm. Tell me an activity that you usually do. Dígame una actividad que usted hace usualmente en su trabajo. Uh, do you call clients? No. No. Okay. Then. Uh, 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 no. Uh huh. Para decir, eh, le envió, o sea, le hago la agenda a mi jefa. Oh, okay. Then I, uh, I take my boss's agenda. Okay. I take. Uh -huh. I take my boss's agenda. Okay. Then, digamos que a usted le toca revisar, ¿ok? Y vamos a decir, I check my boss's agenda. Ok. Vaya, como a usted le toca revisar la agenda, creo que se le tiene que hacer así como un poquito más fácil pensar en una actividad que su jefe haga. Ok. For example, can you give me an activity that your boss is doing every day? Is he or she? Uh, pro programmer, programmer reuniones. Okay, then we could say schedule meetings. Mm -hmm. Puede ser organized o puede ser Organize. scheduled, ¿verdad? Entonces, pongamos, he organizes. Meeting. Okay, if he organizes meetings, okay, let's think that your boss is going to ask to you to eat. Right? When is the next meeting? Digamos que su jefe le preguntó eso, okay? Judith, when is the next meeting? And you go to the agenda and then tell me a date. Okay. The next meeting? Uh -huh. Is Monday? Uh -huh. Acordémonos de la preposición. 
on Monday. On, excellent. Uh -huh. uh, Monday, seven. De qué mes? What month? Monday, one. Uh -huh. Seven. Seventh is today. Today. Ajá. Se, y se le pone también el año, sí, ¿verdad? Ah, si usted quiere, pero en este caso no, porque se sobreentiende. Se sobreentiende. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, June 7th. Okay. Okay. There you are. Let's imagine that June 7th is tomorrow. Okay, let's imagine. So the next meeting is on Monday, June the 7th. Entonces, siempre acuérdese que... Okay, I'm going to open another thing here. I'm going to erase. Is it okay? I'm going to erase this. Voy a borrar. Now, okay. let's go and see here. Uh, let me see this. Okay. Entonces, to say the date, to say the date, remember, month of the year, or oh, let's say only month, okay? Month, and you need a comma. And then you need the date or the number, right? Then in this case, I'm going to write like this, date, then the year, okay? Month, day, year, month, day, year. Between the month and the date, there is no comma, okay? Only between the date and the year. You need the comma. Now you can say the day, okay, the month, then the date and the year. If you want to say the year and if you need to say the year, because imagine that you are talking about an activity that is only once a year, then you can say uh, 2022, right? Next year, right? Next year, so you've got to say, 2022. Also, also, let's remember, cuando nosotros decimos solo, oh, perdón, cuando nosotros incluimos el día, okay, el día de, en la fecha, vamos a utilizar on, ok, y le ponemos, puede ser, así como veíamos al principio en la unidad 1, on Mondays, on Tuesdays, on Fridays, ok, utilizamos on. Pero sí, y, y también, y también todo lo demás, ¿verdad? Lo que mira acá, month, day, and year. Ahora, voy a usar in cuando solo digo el mes, ¿ok? When I say only the month, for example, in August, ¿ok? When is the conference in August? When is the conference in August? Okay. Uh -huh. uh, is it clear until here so far? Is it clear so far? Estamos claros hasta donde vamos ahorita? Yes, teacher. Okay. Do you have a question about this? No, no. No question. No question. Okay. Now no question. let's see when's your husband's birthday. When's your husband husband's birthday? Uh, my my husband birthday mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. September. Mm -hmm. Aquí decimos it's uh -huh. September. Uh -huh. it's September fourteen. Excellent. You see? Now you know how to say the day, the date of your birthday. Okay? You okay. see? 
And when's your husband's birthday? It's September 14th. Now let's think about when's your, uh, one second. Let's see. Uh, when's your next class? When's your next English class? Uh huh. To tomorrow. Oh yeah, that's easy. <laughs> you got me, you got me. Oh my God, <laughs> nice. <laughs> no, but let's say, let's say the date, the date. Mm -hmm. Complete. Yes, yes, to practice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you remember in the manual? Mm -hmm. On one. Look. Okay. Uh-huh. Y tendría que responder con it. Sí. Mm -hmm. It. Uh, it John. Uh-huh. It's on. It on John. Uh, let's say the day first. Okay. It um. Eight. Tomorrow is That's Tuesday. Tomorrow. Okay. okay, it's on Tuesday. Uh huh. It's on Tuesday. June. And what what date is it tomorrow? It will be the eighth, right? Eighth. Eighth. Okay, it's on Tuesday, June the eighth. eighth. Okay. Aquí como estamos en junio y ya sabemos que estamos en junio, incluso podría ser como en el ejemplo que está en el manual. It's on Tuesday, the 8th. Okay. It's on Tuesday, the 8th. Así como en el manual, right? This is a very good way to answer. You could say June 8th. Uh, Y acuérdese, always, you are going to write with capital letters, capital letters, the days of the week and the months of the year. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Are we okay till here? Yes, teacher. Okay, then. Uh, I hope everything is clear as water. <laughs> or is it clear as horchata? <laughs> water <laughs> oh excellent there you are so then let's meet us tomorrow raquel and have a good night good night teacher Thanks. good night my pleasure bye-bye bye-bye